वेलकम एवरी वन सो टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज मेजरमेंट ऑफ मैटर एंड दिस टॉपिक इज फॉर क्लास नाइन एंड दिस इज अ पार्ट वन वीडियो ऑफ दिस लेसन सो स्टूडेंट वॉट इज अ मैटर सो मैटर इज एनी थिंग डेट हैज मास एंड वॉल्यूम डेट मीन्स इट इट विल ऑक्यूपाइज स्पेस ओके सो नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट द लेसन ऑल राइट सो द टॉपिक्स विच वी हैव टू स्टडी इन दिस लेसन आर first is laws of chemical combination so there are two laws of chemical combination are there which we have to study in this lesson and next topic is atom uh, in which we will uh, study uh, shape of an atom mass and valency of an atom okay and the third is molecular mass and the concept of mole and fourth topic is radical so these are the four topic which we have we shall study in this lesson and but today we shall learn only laws of chemical combination okay so let's start all right so before uh, starting the main topic of the lesson let's recall some questions okay so first question is this is a scientist dalton okay so what is the dalton's atomic theory so what is it uh, so student you have already studied this in your previous standard but let's recall it okay so what is dalton's atomic theory it is first point is elements consist of indivisible small particle that means smallest particle of matter is atom okay so elements consist of indivisible small indivisible small particles and that is atom all right and all the atoms of the same element are identical and different element have different types of atom so all the atoms of same element are identical that means if the hydrogen is there okay so the atoms of the hydrogen are same they are identical and different element have different types of atom like uh, if we take example of water molecule water okay so what happened in the water there are different uh, atoms are there like a uh, atoms of hydrogen also will be there and atom of oxygen also there okay so different element have different types of element and third one is the atom can neither be created nor destroy like if we take an example of uh, water so what happened in the water uh, water is a combination of hydrogen and oxygen so the i here atoms of hydrogen and oxygen they are not created neither destroy just they are converting into that means hydrogen and oxygen combined together and converted into water okay so this is neither created nor destroyed so i hope you all have understood this question okay so next question is how are the compounds formed so when two elements are combined through a chemical reaction then a compound form like again we will take an example of previous slide that is when hydrogen and oxygen combine together they will form a water molecule okay or compound uh, so here the chemical reaction of this hydro water is like a 2h2 plus o2 will give you uh, 2h2o that means when two two water molecule will form with the combination of this much hydrogen and oxygen so how are the compound form when diff two different element are combined together uh, chemical reaction they can be compound will be formed so formation of a water molecule okay now next question is what are the molecular formula of common salt slate lime water lime and limestone so here some uh, examples are given here and we have to write the for molecular formula like common salt uh, molecular formula of common salt is sodium chloride so here two different elements are there like sodium and chlorine so with the combination of sodium and chlorine common salt is formed it is nacl and the molecular formula of slate lime is calcium hydroxide it can be re read as calcium hydroxide like ca oh twice okay caoh twice now water uh, it is h2o this is so simple lime again it is same that calcium hydroxide okay and for the uh, lime stone it is calcium carbonate that is caco3 so the formula for lime stone is calcium carbonate caco3 
okay so in the previous standard student you have learned that compounds are formed by chemical combination of element like uh, here we can say uh, take an example of common salt so with the combination of sodium and chlorine compounds are formed so okay so nacl is a compound uh, okay and we have also learned that an important principle of dalton's atomic theory is that molecules of a compound are formed by joining atom of different element to each other it was simple like in water hydrogen and oxygen for to uh, come together to form a water molecule okay and in limestone calcium carbonate caco3 so here three different uh, atoms are there elements are there which will make limestone that is calcium carbo carbonate okay and in lime is uh, slake lime and uh, lime it is calcium and water molecule is there okay hydroxide or hy water is there to form a slake lime and lime so these are all about the chemical combination or chemical reaction now let's move towards our topic okay so our topic is laws of chemical combination so the composition of a substance that changes during a chemical change okay that means here when we take an example of carbon dioxide formation of a carbon dioxide that is co2 okay so the chemical uh, composition of a substance changes during a chemical change that means the uh, um, like when carbon and oxygen will react together they will form a carbon dioxide okay so the composition of the original element that is carbon and, and oxygen will be changed during a chemical reaction or a chemical change all right so uh, the fundamental experiment in this regard were performed by scientists in the 18th and 19th century and while doing this they measured accurately the substances used and form and discovered the laws of chem chemical combination that means here if you when take the example of carbon dioxide formation of a carbon dioxide so what scientists did they will measured the uh, like uh, just it is a just an example okay when uh, while doing uh, any chemical reaction they will measure the original compound original compound means the substance that is used like here to form carbon dioxide which substances are used carbon and oxygen used so they will measure the substance that are using and they will also measure the substance which is formed which is formed means carbon dioxide okay and after measuring the two substances like the substance which are uses and the substance which are forming they discovered the laws of chemical combination all right so scientists could then write the molecular formula of various compounds on the basis of dalton's atomic theory and the laws of chemical combination so and here uh, we shall verify the laws of chemical combination by means of known molecular formula so what is the mo molecular formula again that is ca carbon dioxide co2 this is a molecular formula of carbon dioxide and uh, h2o again nacl so these are the molecular formula so on the basis of the molecular formula they have discovered the laws of chemical combination okay so there are two basically two laws of combination chemical combination are there first is law of conservation of matter and next is law of constant proportion so let's st study one by one okay so first uh, here we have to perform a small activity just we have to read the activity okay and we will understand the activity which is given in our textbook okay so activity first is for the verification of law of the chemical combination that means here we will uh, see the activity which will verify the first law of chemical combination okay so student here uh, take a solution of calcium chloride okay calcium chloride in the conical flask so here i have indicated the red arrow for the conical flask and in the conical flask we have the solution of calcium chloride and the molecular formula for calcium chloride is cacl2 all right and a solution of sodium sulfate in a test tube so this is a test tube and in which we uh, have to take solution of sodium sulfate and the molecular formula for sodium sulfate is na2so4 all right and a tie a thread to the test tube and insert in, in the conical flask and seal the conical flask with the air tight rubber cork which i have indicated with the brown um, line okay so weigh the mass of the conical flask and using a balance now tilt the tilt the conical flask so that the solution in the test tube gets 
port in the conical flask that means the solution of uh, which is there in the test tube that is sodium sulfate and uh, solution which is there in the conical flask that is CaCl2 will gets mixed up together okay now uh, we, we have to weigh the mass of the solution so the mass of the solution is 300.23 gram okay now what happened now after uh, tilting the conical flask uh, what will uh, chemical reaction will takes place and it will form uh, and again the mass will be uh, 300.23 gram and it will form that means when calcium chloride and sodium sulfate will react together what will form the white precipitate of calcium sulfate that is CaSO4 will form in a NaCl solution okay so this is a one chemical reaction so after um, reacting then which changes did you notice so which changes are there that means when calcium chloride and sodium sulfate will make mix together or react together they will form a white precipitate of calcium sulfate in NaCl solution and next question is was there any change in the mass so no there is no change in the mass why because if we will major we have measured the mass of the calcium chloride and sodium sulfate before so that is 300.23 gram and after um, mixing or after the white precipitate of calcium sulfate are formed the mass is same that is 300.23 gram so basically there is no change in the mass Alright, so student, uh, in this activity, uh, the mass of the original matter and the mass of the newly formed matter, um, newly formed as a result of the chemical change are equal. That means, the, before it is 300.23 gram and after it is 300.23 uh, gram. So, the mass is same. Alright, so in uh, 17... 85, the French scientist Antony E. Lavoisier inferred from his research that there is no rise or drop in the mass of the matter during a chemical reaction that means the mass of a matter before and after the chemical reaction it is same it is constant all right there is no drop or no rise so in a chemical reaction the total mass of the reactant so here calcium chloride and sodium sulfate are the reactant and the calcium sulfate and sodium chloride are the product so in a chemical reaction the total mass of the reactant is same as the total mass of the product formed due to the chemical reaction and this is called the law of conservation of matter it means mass of mass of reactant and product are same there is no drop and no rise so this is law of conservation of matter okay now let's uh, understand the second law of um, chemical chemical combinations so, the in 1794 the french scientist j l prouse stated the law of constant proportion as the proportion by mass of the constituent element in the different sample of compound is fixed okay so here mass of the proportion here proportion is there proportion by mass of the constituent element in the different sample of the compound is fixed let understand this by like two examples so first is here formation of a water so that means two element of hydrogen will react together o2 it will form h2 o that means water molecule so basically in this the proportion by mass of hydrogen and oxygen is one is two Eight, okay that means the mass of hydrogen and oxygen in water is obtained from source of 1 is 2 8 that means mass of hydrogen is 1 and mass of oxygen is 8 and this will remain constant or fixed and uh, with this means that 9 gram is formed by chemical combination of 1 gram hydrogen and 8 gram oxygen okay so I hope you all have understood let's see the let's take another example so similarly the proportion by mass that means while forming the carbon dioxide so the proportion by mass of carbon and oxygen in the carbon dioxide obtained from any source is 3 is to 8 that means mass of carbon is 3 and mass of oxygen of 8 now you can relate this that in formation of a water molecule the mass of oxygen is 8 and here also in the formation of a carbon dioxide the mass of oxygen is 8 so this is fixed and this is basically the law of constant proportion that means the, the mass proportion by mass of different element will be constant it will not change okay so this means that in 44 gram of carbon dioxide that means when 44 gram of carbon dioxide will form so there will be 2 gram of carbon and 32 gram of oxygen so that the proportion by mass of carbon and oxygen is 3 is to 8 so student that's it for today i hope you all have understood 
and next part of the lesson we will continue in our next session thank you all of you